Hello and welcome back gorgeous people. I'm Adam and today I'm back in the kitchen. So I'm going to be having a look at some bacon. Whether it's for your bacon sandwich, your bap, your sarni, your butty, your roll, your full English, whichever you want. Got to see which is the best bacon. So in the stores we've got three main contenders. We've got this isn't bacon, naked without oink from, was it Findeberg? And we've got a new one, Richmond. These two look very much like a, a, a bacon copy. They look like they're trying to be bacon with all the streaky fat in it. Don't know if you can see very well in the, this isn't bacon, but it's um definitely doesn't look like bacon. So we'll uh, cook these up and see what they taste like. None of the rashes really look like proper bacon. Some of them really did try. But after after cooling down, so I've got this isn't bacon. It's got a nice texture to it. Good flavour. Mmm. Although it looks the least bacony. That's got quite a nice flavour to it. it kinda of does have a good texture, like it's kinda of like a fibrous texture like you would get from well, flesh really. But yeah, that was that was very nice. It didn't have any weird artificial type flavours. It had a good smoky smokiness to it and a little bit of a saltiness. That was very, very tasty. So the Findebra bacon looks a bit more bacony. It's got that sort of more of a pink and white. Mm. I made that I made that really quite crispy. Okay, I can tell this is I can tell this is a Satan based one. Because it's got that that almost biscuity sort of flavour because it's kind of like bread really doesn't taste bad not the right texture to it though okay a a crackety biscuity type flavour a uh, texture salty not really bacony though you know it's, it's going for that salty bacon flavour but it does kind of miss it doesn't really have any of the sort of like the, the smokiness aspect of it. Again, finally, we've got the, the Richmond uh, bacon. Now, cooked, this looks a bit more bacony. When it came out of the packet, it was a bit sort of brown, really. Oh, that's interesting. There's a discernible difference in, in texture from the sort of like the white fat and the sort of like meatiness. This feels like bacon. Eating this, this feels like bacon. It's like you can feel like an, a rind around it and the difference in texture between the fats and the flesh. That one probably tastes the least bacony. It feels really bacony. So the one that feels more like sort of pork flesh in my mouth is going to be the Richmond's one. They really cracked it. It, it does feel like you're eating bacon and the this isn't bacon one feels very close but doesn't have that uh, change in texture on all the different aspects of the bacon itself which is kind of understandable since it is the one that looks the least like bacon out of all three of them saying that though this isn't bacon is by far the tastiest flavor so if they could do a richmond's uh, looking Richmond's feeling bacon with the taste of the this isn't bacon that would be fantastic I mean that would be truly brilliant but as it stands I think I'm gonna have to say this isn't bacon trumps it because the flavors there the the texture is so close because it think of it as more of like a a lean bacon so there's not got any fat in it more importantly than the question of which is the best bacon it's what do you have in your bacon bay do you go for the ketchup do you go for the tomato sauce or do you go for the brown sauce that good old hp please tell me down below which one you prefer which one you like what condiments you like in your butties and 
please like, subscribe and click on the bell icon and you'll be notified next time I release a video. Thank you very much. Take care.